Hey guys, my name is Uma. Welcome to Trending Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Marshall Major 2 uh, Bluetooth headphones. Um, so I'm going to give you a quick unboxing and uh, give you a rundown of all of the uh, features that come with this uh, pair of uh, headphones here. Um, so let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we have the uh, Marshall Headphones Major 2 Bluetooth box. Pretty uh, standard, um, as with the previous uh, Major 1 set of headphones. Uh, so let's quickly go and open this. So as you can see, pretty compact. You've got the uh, headphones. Uh, if you lift this up. You've got a nice, solid, coiled, uh, pair of wired headphones here uh, with the uh, gold uh, metal casing at the end so that it doesn't tear um, the headphones also comes with uh, a microphone and music controller um, in case you want to take phone calls uh, you can do that as well also comes with uh, uh, the charging cable USB charging cable um, you can see that the ends of the uh, cables are uh, got a pretty cool design as well. Got that sort of a uh, mesh feeling, um, and then you have your uh, quick start user guide as well. Uh, so let's have a quick review of the the headphones itself. So for me personally, I think you'll either love or hate the styling of the um, Marshall Major Two Bluetooth headphones. Um, however, it does retain the exact same styling as the wired counterpart. Uh, both which is modelled after the Marshall's iconic amplifiers uh, which you can see here on the actual earpiece itself um, now I've got the brown version of the headphones, it also comes in black um, but I think the brown one looks slightly better um, you have the uh, the Marshall logo uh, in gold um, you've got the nice uh, rubber feeling uh, along the inside and on the earpieces um, and you've got the metal frames uh, to change the position of the earpieces uh, on your head um, and you've got that sort of mesh sort of pattern uh, on the outside of the headphones as well now the major two bluetooth uh, headphones are on ear headphones uh, which means that the ear pads they rest on your ears uh, instead of around them um, now you have a lot of fans with over ear headphones um, but they should actually check out the uh, Marshall monitor um, though the major two Bluetooth headphones, they isolate the noise uh, fairly well, um, so they are pretty much noise cancelling, um, and they don't have that much uh, interference um, from any Bluetooth uh, connections. Now, also with the uh, headphones uh, comes the wired uh, cable. Um, now, some people have reported that the uh, sound quality uh, with the wired cable um, in relation to the Bluetooth connection is slightly better. Uh, which is of course natural um, if you've got it connected directly into your uh, audio input source um, however the quality of the cable uh, is quite high end um, in comparison with the price of the headphones so it depends on what you prefer really now if you did buy the Bluetooth headphones I presume that's the reason why you bought it so that it is wireless um, so overall I think the uh, sound quality for uh, the wireless um, aspect of these headphones um, are pretty well um, although there are people who have reported a little bit of a grainy noise when you do connect via Bluetooth but overall I think the connection uh, has been established really well uh, between my phone um, and the headphones um, and I haven't really found any loss in uh, audio quality thus far um, I've been playing around with this for uh, about two weeks now um, and so far I think it's been great okay to um, pair your headphones with your phone or your laptop or your tablet you have to turn on the uh, set of headphones first if you hold it down for three or four seconds it will turn white as you can see the white light is on now while it's on you have to double press that same button again and you'll see that it turns blue once it turns blue it's now searching to connect to another device so you will uh, have to go to your bluetooth settings on your phone and then connect it and it should say major to bluetooth uh, once you've done that it will pair uh, and then uh, the light will turn white again um, and if you have the headphones over your ears 
um, then you'll hear an audible noise to confirm that. Now, a quick one about the uh, controls. So you have a, a gold button on the left earpiece. Uh, so this will control either incoming phone calls, uh, which you can use with the uh, inbuilt microphone slot in the earpiece on the right, um, or in your headphones, you can use the, uh, the earpiece that's um, connected to the wire. Now, this one, uh, if you basically uh, single uh, press the button, uh, that will answer the phone call. Um, and if you double press, that will end the phone call. Uh, in terms of music, uh, which is most likely what you're going to be using this for, um, you can single press this to, to play or pause a song. Uh, to play the next song, uh, you swipe it to the right. Previous song, you swipe it to the left. Uh, if you want to put the volume up, you swipe upwards. Uh, and again, downwards if you want to put the volume down. Um, and it's pretty straightforward. Those are the, the basic uh, controls uh, for this button. Um, and I found that this is really easy to control my music um, from previous Bluetooth headphones that I've had, um, whether they've been in-ear um, or over-ear. And sometimes you get uh, music controls with buttons on the actual wires, which I found a little bit fiddly, um, but this actually makes it 10 times easier. So I do give it a thumbs up for that. Um, and lastly, I have to talk about the battery life. Um, now, Marshall do claim that this is about 30 hours of battery life. Um, and based on the two weeks that I've had it, it's still running on the single battery. Um, and I've po possibly played it maybe one to two hours uh, per day. Um, and I possibly have maybe 5% battery life uh, left in there. Um, although there's nowhere I can actually track that. Um, but the light on the right earpiece will start flashing red um, if the battery is running low. Um, and so far that hasn't happened. So um, I think the battery life is one of the best out there on Bluetooth headphones. So that's a real win as well. Okay guys, just to give you an idea of what it looks like uh, when you wear the headphones, uh, I'm just gonna give you a demonstration now. So they are on ear headphones. Um, they don't cover the entire um, ear, uh, but that depends on the size of your ears, obviously. Um, but this is how it looks front on, uh, very minimal you'll see a gap uh, through the uh, metal frames on the side uh, depending on the height that you leave them on. From the side view, this is how they look. And again on this side. And then from the back. So they're not really large, they don't really stand out and they're not really like in your face. Uh, but I think they look uh, really nice, uh, especially the ones in brown, uh, which is the color I got. Um, and I think they're pretty comfortable because once you wear on-ear headphones for a large amount of time, um, you do tend to start feeling a little bit of a pain in your ears. Um, but this one actually is really comfortable. Um, I've worn it um, just commuting on the on the train. Um, I've worn it in the gym while I'm working out, uh, and no problems whatsoever. Um, and I'm going to continue wearing these for a long time. Um, so I do highly recommend them for anyone that is looking for a set of uh, uh, on-ear Bluetooth wireless headphones. So thanks for watching guys, um, hope you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up if you like the review, if you have any questions on the headphones then uh, please do drop me a comment below, um, otherwise I'll see you next time on my next video, take care.